Hello, Call to Acting Actors. Today is Sunday, June 24th, and Kat and I are headed to the Mississippi Comic Con. We're ready. <laughs> Don't believe your mother thinks you're the best artist in the world. In the very beginning, before I actually was a professional, I was up at, on staff at Marvel Comics back in 1985. And uh, I, you know, the thing is, you, you, th you try to be objective about your work, but it's very hard to be objective about your work because you think you're good. But then you look back, at, you know, years later at your stuff and you realize that you didn't really know what you were doing. But um, I had an editor one time say to me that he wouldn't print my art because it just wasn't up to par. But, you know, you kind of have to get past that and you have to come back stronger for it. My name's Austin St. John. I played Jason, the original Red Ranger. Went on, became a firefighter paramedic, and now I'm back to acting. I'm producing, directing, executive producing, doing things like that. I guess the, uh, the theme here is uh, what words of wisdom, if any, would I give to anyone thinking about beginning an acting career? First words of wisdom would be, don't do it. Um, after that, I would say, have a second and third job. Um, but then when it comes to the craft, there's so many different lines of study. Um, Stanislavski, and I mean, it just goes on and on and on. You got to find something that fits you, and uh, you've got to make it work. And once you find something that fits you, then you need to get good with things that don't fit you. And the only way you can do that is by practicing your craft. And uh, don't work on things you're comfortable with. You can do one or two of those so that you're comfortable with it, but you need to push your own boundaries because I guarantee you, if you're any good, you're going to get hired one day by someone whose full intent is to push your boundaries well beyond how great you think you might be. So uh, study, read, practice. It's a career. It's not a hobby. And if you want to make a career out of it, you better be damn good at it. So get your ego out of your way. Study hard. Don't be afraid to make a fool of yourself. That's synonymous. I mean, that's, that's what acting is. You can't be afraid to make a fool of yourself. If you are, you're holding yourself back, and you won't get hired. So. Uh, Chin up, you can be afraid, just don't let it keep you from doing what it is you choose to do. That's when your fear rules you instead of the other way around. So, camera's just a bunch of people. It's no different than any other conversation, whether you're looking here or off camera, uh, camera left, camera right, however you want to do it. You just have to find a way psychologically to get it through to your head, to be in the moment, in your character, for that time and space. How you get there is up to you. Study, read, train, and then do it some more. Good luck. What just happened? Trivia. I thought we were all gonna sit down and like have fun. Trivia, right? I was put on the spot with Dragon Ball Z questions. <laughs> and luckily I knew most of them. There was a Dragon Ball Super question though and I was like, that happened that late? I'm giving her this Mega Man scented air freshener. His car needs it. It smells like robots. It smells, it smells like, ro like robots. Yeah, I'm Sam Jones, Flash Gordon, and the, and the reason why I know that, I'm standing in front of this banner right here. But it is me, so I just want to talk to you briefly about acting. Uh, it's about keeping things. It's about keeping things simple. And the advice I could give you is um, get into a scene study class. Scene study is uh, you get with a partner a couple times a week. You you study that scene and you you perform it in front of the acting teacher. And then to complement that, you want an improvisational class too. Because when you go up for an audition or a meeting with producers, directors, writers, it's going to come down to two things. All right, It's the audition. So theater is great. I did theater before. Theater is great, but it's going to come down to the scene. You're going to, you're going to perform the scene. And number two, if you forget your lines or if they throw you a little curve, you want to be able to ad lib, make things up, improvise. And it'll, it'll save your butt. So just keep it simple. And while you're doing this, while you're training in a scene study class and in an improvisational class, you gotta work. You have to pay your bills. You have to have, it's all about, forget about the, the term Hollywood. It's not about Hollywood. It's about working and provision. That's what it comes down to. So that's what you wanna do. And also eliminate any nonsense and BS. Just keep it simple. Any hindrances or obstacles that are in your way, 
just eliminate it. You know, it could be a person. Be careful how you eliminate them, okay? <laughs> but you know, it could be a thing, it could be a person. You want to be around people that are building you up and bringing value into your life. If they're not bringing value into your life, if they're not building you up, they are a liability. They are breaking you down. So, yeah, that's my advice. And pray. I'm serious. Every day pray and thank God. And you got to believe that you belong in the movie and TV industry. You got to believe. If you don't believe it yourself, how is anybody else going to believe it? So you got to believe that you belong. Soul stone? Is that what that's called? Or spirit stone? I mean... Back away from the woman with the keyblade. I am not the key master. <laughs> My name is David Fielding. I played Zordon on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, I also did voices for a bunch of video games and uh, uh, radio, TV commercials. Uh, my best advice uh, for uh, somebody who's starting out into the world of acting is to uh, try and decide which type of acting you, you would, would like to do. If it was stage acting or if it was film and TV acting, because they're two separate animals. Just really try to find a program that, that fits you. The, the number one thing you need to know is that you need to believe in yourself. Um, you're, you're not going to be very good at the beginning. You may not be very good at the middle, but uh, over time, it, the, the longer you work at it, the better you're going to get at it. And uh, find a support group that uh, believes in you, encourages you, um, uh, people that uh, are very positive for you. Don't surround yourself with a bunch of negative people. Um, and also, <clears throat> one of the things that they don't really teach you in school is uh, about the business of what it's like to actually live as an actor. Uh, try to find yourself uh, uh, some financial advice, uh, set yourself up with a, uh, a decent budget, uh, you know, make sure that you don't overextend yourself. One of the things that a lot of my friends did when they were in their early age was like take out credit cards and max out credit cards. And that's really kind of the bad way to go about it. I mean, be very smart with your money plan for things, um, you know, and make sure that you're feeding yourself well. And I'm not talking about food, I mean, feed your head too. So read a lot, watch a lot, rehearse a lot, and talk amongst your, your friends about stuff. And everything that you add to your instrument is going to go back out into the world. So that's the best advice I can give you. Thank you. I'm ready to have you on. take improv classes. That's how I started and you learn how to do characters really well and uh, you learn variety um, and you learn how to act and act quickly which sometimes you're gonna need uh, and do theater for sure um, and I think that's the best way to start being an actor. A major failure, hmm. I mean I probably audition. One year I kept track and I had 360 auditions and of those, I booked, uh, I think, nine. So, not one failure, <laughs> I've had plenty. Uh, I audition all the time. Sometimes for my house, in my closet, where I record voice auditions, or I go out and audition for on-camera stuff, or I go out and audition at Nickelodeon or something for voice. And um, time after time, you won't get the job, but then you do get the job and it's amazing. So, uh, don't be afraid of not getting the job. You're welcome. I thought we were going to see Jurassic World after this. It came to us.
Well, Kat and I had a great time at the Mississippi Comic Con. We got to meet a lot of awesome people, um, very talented people with years of experience and got some very sound advice about sticking with it through hundreds of auditions each year, continuing to have some sort of side income, and tempering yourself if you ever do book one of those really big gigs that pays, say, a million dollars. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like it, comment below with the piece of advice that meant the most to you, and share it with a friend who could find this useful. Get out there and practice your craft. Josh's car is so smelly. He needs this.